Hey, what's up everybody? Titanic Toby T here, back with another quick unbagging or unboxing of an Alien Gear holsters inside the waistband cloak tuck 3.0. So I just ordered this holster from Amazon. Uh, should have ordered it directly from Alien Gear so I could have got the option of the metal clips. Uh, instead of the plastic clips uh, however uh, I went through Amazon took about five days to get here which isn't too terrible I guess um, I have Prime said it was going to be here in two days but that wasn't Alien Gears fault uh, that was a USPS fault um, so you know standard uh, shipping bag that, that uh, Alien Gear holsters come in has the Ironclad triple guarantee, 30 day test drive, free shell trades, I believe that's for life and forever warranty. Proudly made in the USA of course, which is one of the things I like about Alien Gear holsters. Um, even though I only own a couple of their holsters, I've followed them for a while on social media. Um, you know, I don't get paid for any reviews, I'm just doing a review for an everyday carrier that would like to see how a product works for certain types of people. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'1". Um, I, am, uh, I am not the smallest fella around. So, um, so the, it really helps uh, to get a review if you're a bigger guy and you want to see what an inside the waistband holster uh, fits like on someone that may be a bigger guy. So I'll do a review of this again after I have wore it for about um, two or three or four weeks somewhere around that area to give you my honest opinion on what I think of the holster. Um, I think it'll work out just fine. Uh, a little bit about the holster. has the Alien Gear stamp and the um, probably made in the USA stamp on the front of this synthetic type uh, leather. <clears throat> has the, uh, the hard shell um, which is, you know, feels really sturdy. Um, the holster feels really well overall. Uh, it is a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be, which is great. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little, a little wider, uh, but it's, it's not, and that's good. Then we have the neoprene backing, and you can kind of see the outline of the metal, the thin piece of metal that they put in this to help stabilize it. Apparently that may have been an issue with the Cloak 2.0. Uh, so I'm glad they fixed that. And then of course you get the standard um, standard stuff that comes with the Alien Gear holster, all the extra parts, the Alien Gear keychain, and your instruction manual and, and how to wear the holster and all that good stuff. So anyway, check it out. If you're interested in an Alien Gear, gear holster, um, you can check them out at aliengearholsters.com. Um, take a look at what they've got. Um, again, this is just a everyday review from a normal dude. Uh, just going to check out some stuff and review some products. I've got a couple knives that I'm going to be reviewing here very shortly. Uh, I've got the Cloak Mod review, uh, the initial thoughts, and then of course the review after wearing it for three weeks. So you can check that out on my page. Uh, please uh, share my page, let people know it's out there just for, um, you know, everyday reviews of stuff. Please subscribe, that helps as well. Like I said, I don't get any money or anything from any of these guys. I don't get any ad money or anything like that. Uh, maybe one day I'll be uh, big enough as far as reviewing items that I will get stuff like that. But until then, uh, we'll just keep on keeping on with what I'm doing here. So... If you have any questions, post them below. I'll try and answer them uh, as time goes by. So thanks for watching.